I'm Kristen, you're watching Kristen Cooks. And today's video, I have the best chocolate cake recipe you'll ever have, okay? That is a bold statement, but I'm confident in my cake. So if you have a chocolate craving that you just can't get over, then just keep watching. So first of all, preheat your oven to 350 and line two nine inch baking pans with parchment paper and spray very well with nonstick spray. And then in a stand mixer here, I'm putting in one stick of softened unsalted butter. And then I'm going to get this creaming for about five minutes till it's light and fluffy. In the meantime, I'm going to sift one cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. And then I'm going to take a half a cup of canola oil and dump that into the cocoa powder and combine those two ingredients. And then I'll add it to the creamed butter right here. Put it down first and then we're going to add it in this recipe is just so good i've made it a few times and every time it has come out perfect just rich and fudgy and really really moist and then i'm going to add in sugar and brown sugar and then get that incorporated into the butter the cocoa powder and the oil I will link, link this recipe in the description box so you'll have exact measurements. I'm just kind of go, going over it quickly here. And then while those are, are, are um, while I'm incorporating the eggs here, I sifted the dry ingredients, basically. Okay, going back to the eggs here, three to three eggs, one at a time, making sure to Incorporate each one before adding in the next. Very important. And there goes the last one. And we'll mix it in. You see my little dog there? Oh my gosh. He's not little, but <laughs> always, always watching what I'm doing. Okay, vanilla. About a teaspoon and a half ish. Okay, and then we're gonna add in the dry ingredients first and then put in, you know, you put a little bit at a time, you alternate between the flour, sour cream, and milk, whole milk here, just until you have all those things incorporated. I say that a lot, I think. But yeah, just alternate between those three until you have all of, it's all used up and it's all in there. Make sure and mix it at low speed so you don't get flour all over your kitchen. And then make sure and scrape your bowl down. That's what that was a second ago. Okay, and then I'll just kind of let it mix again. And what I didn't show though, the last thing I added was hot coffee. I didn't record that. It was a mistake, I'm sorry, but you add one cup of hot coffee. And then after that, after you have that mixed in, then you just divvy up the batter evenly between the two cake pans, nine inch cake pans. And then it'll go in the oven, 350. I checked it after 40 minutes and they were done. Perfect. Okay, now onto the chocolate buttercream. Lot of butter here, three sticks, a cup and a half. Make sure it's softened. I got mine right out of the fridge and I softened it in the microwave and it worked perfect. Perfect. Excuse me. Okay, and then we're going to I'm going to add in a half a cup of cocoa powder into the butter. As you can see, I have the whisk attachment on the mixer. And then vanilla extract, a little bit of salt. Again, exact measurements will be in the re the description box. And then we have uh, six cups of butter here. I mean, excuse me, powdered sugar, not butter. We already did that part. 
Now we're on to the, to the powdered sugar. And then also about seven tablespoons of whole milk. And then I'm just, I have my, I kept my mixer on low here. So I didn't get powdered sugar all over my kitchen. And I just slowly added in the, the sugar and the milk until those were, in, were all in there. And then I turned up the mixer just to get it all mixed up very nicely here. And then that's pretty much all there is to it. Then it was time to frost my cake. Yeah, this cake is just so good. But I'm really glad I was giving this cake away and I didn't have it hanging around my house because then I would eat it and we all know I don't need to eat cake, okay? You know, it's almost summertime. It's almost time to break out the shorts and I don't need to be eating a bunch of chocolate cake, okay? So I was happy to give this away. So here I am, I'm just frosting. It went well. The cake turned out awesome. It was beautiful. And yeah, it was great. She loved it. It was just fantastic. And I really, I hope you make this. I hope you do because this, this recipe is so good. It's absolutely perfect. And I'm so glad that I came across it and I made it. And now it's one of my favorites. So this is the final result of the chocolate cake recipe that I made. Um, I've made this recipe before in my channel and I would love to slice into this and show you the inside, but unfortunately I am gifting this to somebody at work. It is her birthday and this is what I made for her to share with her on her birthday. But I will have the recipe linked for you in the description box and I hope you really try it. Um, this is a chocolate buttercream frosting. The other cake I made, the other chocolate cake version, I used cream cheese frosting instead, and both are so good. But this turned out so good, and just you just really need to try it for yourself, okay? So um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, like and share my video, and um, I will see you guys in the next one.